The doctor's bag. It's one of the most iconic objects in the world of medicine. Throughout history, healers have used medical bags in one form or another to carry the basic supplies needed to treat patients wherever they were. So what was in it? Pop open the clasp of a typical 19th century doctor's bag, and you might find it contains tools still used for checkups, like the thermometer and the stethoscope. There might also be some ammonia or smelling salt and even opium. Later came blood pressure cuffs and hypodermic needles. Armed with a well-worn medical bag, a traveling doctor was ready to bandage a wound or deliver a baby. They were a welcome sight in rural America, especially when the nearest hospital was hundreds of miles away. The classic leather doctor's bag dates back to the Victorian era. These bags were also known as Gladstone bags, so named for the British Prime Minister William Gladstone, who supposedly preferred the lightweight sack to a bulky chest. The black bag became a symbol of care. During the 1918 flu pandemic, public health nurses like Lillian Wald made house calls to poor families in New York City tenements. Carrying her bag full of rattling tools, she would climb across rooftops to avoid crowded streets. By the 1970s, house calls were almost extinct. New hospitals were equipped with advanced technology that couldn't fit in a bag. Today, medical bags harken back to an older approach to healthcare, when patients welcomed the sight of a doctor at their doorstep. They knew good health was in the bag.